on the Santa House and University Park. Uh, <laughs> it is one of the most fun and colorful displays. I was just telling Cleo how I went past it last year. It was really neat to see, but there was a health scare this year. The homeowner didn't want to let people down. Here's Tiffany Liu. It takes a long time to set up hundreds of Christmas displays. What well, normal sane person would do this? It's a work in progress. I probably right now have about 100 Santas out in the yard. And by the time he's done, somewhere between 5 and 700. Wayne Smith will rack up an extra $1,000 on his electric bill per month. I have about five miles worth of extension cords. His home in University Park has been known for years as the Santa House. So when he started setting up later than usual. A lot of people were going, we're afraid you'd move or weren't going to set up. I go, no, as long as I can still move, I'm going to set them up. So evidently makes a lot of people very happy. Seeing people happy is why he continues to climb on the roof even after a health scare this year. I was like, guys, I've had a stroke. If I fall, you know, what does it matter? <laughs> I made it through a stroke. I'll just probably roll, bounce, break something if I fall off. Wayne's stroke gave him paralysis on his left side. He's been doing rehabilitation ever since, and Christmas is helping. It's like therapy for me. It makes me feel better doing this. So this holiday, when you see his team of Santas on the rooftop, know it took a lot more out of him to make it happen. His teeth are a little bit crooked. I'm going to have to fix that. And when you see big techs on his front porch, no, it took every ounce of energy to move him there. He weighs about 300 pounds. From day to night, Wayne will keep the lights on through January, sharing his great love of Christmas. Love Christmas. My favorite holiday. In Dallas, I'm Tiffany Liu.